Hey everybody, it's Randy from Reefs.com here on the floor of MacNest San Diego. I'm here with Tim Marks, president and co-founder of Ecotech Marine, someone I've known for a very long time. Yep, absolutely. Um, most of our viewers and our listeners are well aware of your line of products. As you know, I'm a longtime user myself. I have uh, been for a very, very long time. Um, so what do you have new? Well, uh, about a month ago, we launched our Gen 4 Radeon. And right now, it's the first public presentation of what this technology truly represents. Mm. The Gen 4 Radeon has been a long time coming. The Gen 3 was our longest running Radeon product to date. Okay. Uh, in order to top the Gen 3, it wasn't easy. We've been using Gen 3s over coral propagation centers and wholesalers for years now. Right. And they've truly proved themselves as a powerful and uh, result generating LED light. Okay. The Gen 4, we had to take it up. And one of the things that we knew we had to do was distribute the light in a wider fashion and with a more even mixing of the color sure, throughout the a, aquarium. That's still a common criticism of LEDs in general. Of LEDs about, in general, exactly. Right, and right. it's not just the color, it's also the PAR distribution. Uh -huh. LEDs in general tend to suffer from a conical shaped distribution of intensity. Meaning that as we go away from the light, the intensity drops like a cone, all right? Yep. In the case of the Gen 4, what we did was we're introducing the HEI, the Hemispherically Edge Illuminating Optic, all okay. right? So it's completely redesigned optic. It's, it's basically an ob it's a, it's a convex instead of a concave mm -hmm. optic. So this and replaces the TIR lens. That's correct, okay. yep, yep. And what this does is it produces a PAR uh, distribution that's much more square. So for those of uh, the listeners that remember back in the metal halide days, you may remember the Luminarc reflector and what that did sure. for metal halide light distribution. Right. The Gen 4 is an analogous situation, okay. right? right? That was a game changer. It, right. The Luminarc yeah. was absolutely a game changer and it was copied. And it, right. after the Luminarc was introduced, you wouldn't find a traditional reflector anywhere. Right. There were all these multifaceted reflectors based on the, the geometry of the Luminarc. Mm. The HEI lens is, is very analogous. Mm. But essentially what we are doing is we are squaring off the distribution of light. Mm -hmm. And what that means is if you place a coral here or two inches below, or two inches to the right I should say, mm. you're going to get the same part. And what we're looking forward to is the results that that's going to generate in our customers' tanks. Because we, we've tested and we've seen it and we're looking forward to seeing our customers report right. on it. Mm -hmm. There's Rich Ross making faces behind you. <laughs> As he always does. It's a specialty. Yeah, anyway. The busting so, of balls. So are there any other um, changes to the fixture besides well, they, the lens? Obviously, it's a major innovation. Okay, you know? so yeah. as a result of the lens changing, the reality is uh, every single thing inside of this light changed. The only parts of a Gen 4 Radeon that are the same as a Gen 3 right. are the lower cover, the upper cover, the buttons here, and the fan inside. Okay. Literally, everything else is new. The driver, okay. the LED cluster, the heat sink itself, the end caps and a, and a boatload of fasteners as well. Right. Um, the reason why is because the, the HEI lens had to come down. It had to come down closer to the, the bottom surface of the light in order to emit the light uh, more out the side. Okay. okay. As a result, the heat sink surface that was uh, where the LEDs were mounted to had to come down. Mm. And essentially, every, once, you, once you change the backbone of our product, everything changes right. from there. When we were changing the heat sink, what we had the opportunity to do was utilize some new technologies that were more common, including these micro fins found on the uh, heat sink itself. Mm -hmm. We also, when the, when the datum that the lights were mounted to came down, that allowed the fins to grow taller, which means a larger surface area for heat dissipation. As a result of that, the fans run about 30% uh, at max intensity, whereas on a Radeon Gen 3, they're closer to 80, 90%. Right. So it's less power draw and quieter. Right? That, the latter being the most important right. point. Significantly quieter. Interesting. So I guess the downside might be it doesn't sound like it is an upgradable path from the earlier versions to Unfortunately, this version, right? we, we had to break our history, uh, our legacy of right. upgradability. Sure which honestly wasn't an easy decision to make. Mm. Um, 
you know, it's been about five years now with the XR30 platform being a totally backward compatible, meaning if you bought in at a Gen 1, right. you could still be running the exact same heat sink mm -hmm. for that light that, and, and be running G3 spec on it. Right. And um, that was tough. That was tough for us to decide. And what we ultimately came to the conclusion of is that we had to continue to make forward progress. Sure. And the, the differences between the Gen 4 and the Gen 3 and earlier generations warranted the risk. This is a significantly better light in terms of the quality of light and the, uh, and the output as well. Does that mean that a Gen 3 or earlier is a bad light? No. Right. And, and I wouldn't recommend our coral propagators to change their lights mm. just because the Gen 4 is out because the Gen 3 works that well. Right. I mean, my, you've seen my tank. I'm running Gen 2s, Gen 2 Pros, and yeah. a couple of Gen 1s even. Yeah. And the results are great. The Radeon so, you know. grows coral, and it has since its inception. Yes. We're just, you know, technology is about change these days. Mm. We all know that. And the Gen 4, there's a reason why it didn't come out a year later after the G3. It took a couple of years to get this product out. And, are there and spectral changes as well? Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. We removed the yellow channel, which, well, the yellow LED, which is in the red channel. Okay. And we added warm white and a, a true UV, a true low violet UV uh, spectrum as well. Do you feel like it's a truer color rendition? Or? It just, I, the best analogy I can give to the, the color rendering with the Gen 4 versus the Gen 3 it's as if your aquarium just went from, uh, um, uh, from a regular television to an HD television, from 720p to, to 1080. I mean, it's just, it's that subtle but recognizable pop in the overall color rendering of your aquarium. Fantastic. All right. Well, I thank you for your time. Oh, no problem. I'm looking forward to checking Appreciate them out it. myself. Yep. As always, you guys have done your homework, and it shows the products you put well, we'll out there. We'll have to get some over your aquarium, then you can really appreciate it. Looking forward to that day. Cool. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. All Thank right, you. take care.